Hello, my name is Tracy Probert. I'm a linguistics lecturer at Rhodes University. Linguistics is the study of language, and that is important because language is everywhere. It's in the books we read, new words we hear, conversations with friends and strangers, streams on social media platforms, on billboards, in menus. It's part of everyday life. Language is what I'm doing right now. In linguistics, we don't just study one language, but rather we study the sound patterns of languages, the grammars of languages, how people communicate, how children acquire language, and how language changes. In the Rhodes University linguistics courses, we aim to provide an explicitly South African focus and to use local languages and texts for exemplification. Everyone should study linguistics. And this is why. Every time that we speak, we are faced with a choice of which language to use or which variety of our language to use because we want to use the one that best suits our needs. By studying linguistics, you can understand how it is that individuals actually make this choice. What are the social motivations that underlie their choices? And ultimately, how is it that we use language to accomplish social objectives? A course in linguistics develops in you critical thinking and critical analysis, as well as good communication. Linguistics, we're going to teach you how to have a better understanding of your community, your society, and your life. Linguistics is an excellent co-major with many other subjects. Combined with journalism, it helps you understand how language influences opinions in the media. Combined with psychology, it helps you understand how the brain learns and processes language. Combined with law, it helps you master legal interpretation. Combined with education, it equips you to become a better language teacher. Skills in linguistics can be adapted to suit many industries. You can work as a discographer, a language or speech therapist, an editor, a proofreader, and in most departments of communication. In addition, skills in linguistics can be adapted to journalism, to law, marketing, and many, many different uh, fields out there in the world. The Rhodes University Linguistics and Applied Language Studies Department aims to provide you with the tools to explore your daily linguistic world in any language. Sound like something you'd like to do? Register for Linguistics and Applied Language Studies. Should you happen to become an addict, you may just as well also join the ranks of academia like I did. I took my first linguistics course all the way back in 2006, and I actually still have right here the textbook from that class. It's a book called The Power of Babel by John McWhorter, and it explores the diversity of different languages and connects that to how languages change over time and how this remarkable situation where there are thousands of different languages spoken across the world uh, came to be. And one of the reasons I kept this book is because the last chapter is what convinced me to become a linguist. It's unfortunately titled, uh, Most of the World's Languages Went Extinct. And sadly, that's the truth. So we think that there's give or take 7,000 languages spoken in the world today. That's sort of an estimate. Uh, but most of them we expect will not survive the next century. And that's a shame. It's so, so much is lost when a language vanishes. And especially if you have a language that doesn't have a written tradition and that uh, stops being spoken without leaving behind long lasting written records. So I read this book at the end of my first year of university, and what stuck with me was this sobering fact that most of the world's languages are extinct or are going extinct. I thought, that's such a shame. I really would like to help be part of the solution to that problem. So I became a linguist.